Hello everybody and happy Monday to everyone. Oh, so guys, I feel so ashamed. You know, I'm all about health and nutrition, but this is a moment of transparency for me. And so I know the things that we should and should not eat. But sometimes we make allowances for our children knowing good and darn well the stuff is no good for them, right? But it's our baby, and we don't want our baby to be upset, and we want to reward our children with food. Well, that got bad food. That has to stop at some point. You know, okay, so let's talk about these instant ramen noodles. So, you know, the kids come home from school. They want to make them some chicken ramen noodles in the microwave. Take them six sack, six minutes, or you make them on the stove for six minutes. First of all, the microwave no good, all right? Then you're heating something up in a microwave, and you're heating up ramen noodles, which is completely cardboard, okay? There is no, no nutrition whatsoever coming from the ramen noodles. So... What does Giovanni do? I say, you know what? I'm going to get away from buying this all the time for the kids because all you're getting is salt. So go to Aldi's and we pick up these bad boys. And it's not my first time buying them. I've been buying them for a while. You know, I don't know why. I never paid attention to look at what's actually in it. But the same thing, they're noodles in a cup. So this is the instant lunch chicken flavor, right? So you're in a store. You're looking at the package like, oh, that looks so pretty. You got the noodles and look, they even having some, some peas and carrots mixed in there. Oh, this should be really, this should be good for the kids. They could just instantly heat this up and then they can have their snack after school. Okay, first of all, if something costs $2 for a box of six, then probably it's no good. And I should know better. But no, 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 no. G want to make the babies happy. G can't do that no more, right? Because they're eating this crap, and guess what is going to lead down, down the line to? Hypertension, high blood pressure, headaches, blurry vision. Let me, so, so yeah, so about this, yeah, bad, bad G, bad, okay? So my daughter comes home, and she says, Mommy, I'm not feeling so well. My head hurts, and... My stomach hurts and I, I just don't feel good. I said, well, you know what, Noah, no problem. Go ahead and lay down. But she's like, I want to eat something before I go to sleep. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, get you some grapes or something. And she wants to get these noodles. I said, well, you got to be careful about the noodles because of the sodium content. You're not getting the nutrition from it. Well, let me tell you what's in it. Stay with me. Okay, first of all. This have over 50 different ingredients that cannot even be pronounced. The first ingredient is enriched wheat flour. That's a no-no. Second ingredient, niacin. That's a no-no. Vegetable oil. That's another no-no. Okay? All this crap. Right? Not to mention that the sodium content. Now, I knew the other noodles sodium content was about 800 milligrams, right? This sodium content right here, are you guys ready for this? The sodium content is 1,190 milligrams. Oh, and we wonder why our kids have headaches. <laughs> we wonder why they don't feel good. We wonder why they're lethargic, why they have a lack of energy, why they can't focus, why they can't concentrate in school, because we're feeding them crap. Not just you, but me too. And I have to do better and I have to take accountability for what the things that I'm doing because I want to make things easy, quick, and convenient. But the easy, quick, and convenient is what's killing us and our children in the process. So then I just went on to Google real quick just to take a look at what is the daily recommended allowance for sodium. Well, the American Heart Association suggests that we get, uh, I think the number was 2,200 milligrams, but... That's like really, really high. But the, we should only be doing 1,500 milligrams a day of salt. Well, this is 1,200. So if your child, like my child, eat a cup of noodles, if they eat one cup of noodles, then guess what? There's nothing left for them to eat for the rest of the day because they've already eaten all their sodium intake for the day. So everything else that they should eat throughout the day should have no salt in it at all. 
I'm just like, y'all, like this stuff, this, I feel so bad because this stuff, this instant stuff is what's instantly killing us. If we could actually eat this and see what it looks like going into our bloodstream and to see the way our body process it, our body is screaming for help. We're fighting against the body when we eat this crap. We're supposed to be in harmony with the body. We're supposed to help the body do what it's supposed to do. How is this going to heal the body? There is no life force in this. This is dead food. I told someone the other day, if you want to live long, you eat living food. You want to die soon? You want to die young? Eat dead food. She's like, what is dead food? Dead food is anything that comes in a box. Dead food is anything that has not been made by the creator. Right? So dead food, your snacks, your cookies, your cakes, when you go to Walmart, all the millions of owls that have this crap in it. You want to live? Then you need to be eating living food. This is living food. Living dead. Right? So, I didn't know if you guys knew that. So, if anyone out there, they're feeding their kids that, I just wanted to let you know. It has 1,200 milligram of salt. And I know not just a lot of kids, but a lot of us adults eat this, right? Then you wonder why you're so sick. <laughs> like, come on, y'all. So, anyway, that was a moment of transparency for me. I have to get ready. I have a client in a little bit. And I just want to wish you guys a super awesome day, and I'll see you soon.